Hello guys, welcome back. Now today, I want to talk about John Klingberg and how he correlates and maybe how possibly he's the best offensive defenseman in the entire NHL. Now before you say, oh it's Dowdy, oh it's P.K. Subban, oh no it's Eric Carlson, give me a second. Now first off, I didn't even say that he was the best offensive defenseman in the NHL yet. And if I did say it, I would be right. Now, allow me to explain myself. Klingberg has 201 points in about 300-ish games. He's below the 300 mark, but he's about to get there. He's 25 years of age. He's almost, he's barely in his prime. Um, he's going to be scraping his prime right here. And this is basically his prime years. Now in 14-15, he had 11 goals, 29 assists for 40 games. He finished fifth in the Calder voting, and he had an amazing year. 65 games played, 40 points. That's pretty ridiculous. And his rookie, his just rookie pace was unbelievable. Imagine if he play, played a full 82 games in that season. It would have been ridiculous. In 15-16, he had a breakout year, 10 goals, 48 assists for 58 basically points there. Um, he had 76 games played, so he didn't play the whole season, but he had a fantastic season, lots of assists. Basically, uh, it was the worst version of this current season, but he still had an amazing year. Basically, his breakout season, even if if you don't count the rookie uh, rookie season as breakout, that would be definitely a, a fantastic season by him. And he was just passing everywhere. That those were that was the year where um, he made a lot of defensive mistakes. He wasn't as good of definitely not as good as of a whole defenseman as he is right now. Um, he made lots of defensive mistakes made mistakes and lots of errors he made lots of just uh, clumsy mistakes but on the offensive side he was amazing in 16 17 the stars finished a ninth in the last place and really they didn't do all that well and Klingberg had a little bit just a little bit of a step back season as well as the whole team there he had 13 goals which is a career high for him and probably will be a career high I don't think that he'll get six more goals as Klingberg has seven goals this season I don't think he'll get six goals in I think it's around 25 games something like that I don't think he'll get there he might but I don't think he will um, but 36 assists on that season 13 goals for 49 points not a bad season but it's not um, the elite level that he had the season before, um, but still a good season there. Just seven points behind the other season, but still overall not as good. Now he played an eight, almost a full season of 80 games, and this was probably this was one of the worst defensive seasons that he's had. I, I'd say even worse than 15, 16. He made lots of mistakes, like just unbelievable mistakes that you think he wouldn't even make but he made loads of mistakes and he was still great defensively or offensively but he still was not good at all defensively and then we go to this season the 17-18 season he has seven goals i think it's that he's up to 47 assists which is just ridiculous 54 points i think right now he's sitting at about 59 games played so he's doing fantastic more almost more than a point per game which is just ridiculous um he's on pace to beat zubov sergey buzov's um zubov's record of a dallas star defenseman with the most points i think zubov was at i think it was around 70 points something like that um Klingberg is on pace to beat that record um and he already is on pace to beat it so he's doing fair well for himself um with 59 games played of course he's just doing lights out and this year um he's four points behind or at least four points ahead of brent burns in the second place place of points by a defenseman with 50 burns has 50 he's doing still pretty well offensively for himself he's doing fantastic but Klingberg is just a little bit over that next level now I just want to talk about the things that he's massively improved on from last season to this season his passing it was very very good last season but it's proved even more I'd say his passing is top five of a defenseman in the league he's fantastic passer he makes lots of great neutral zone passes and he is able to escape in the zone very easily he's a good fast guy as well he has an underrated shot i think he was second in the hardest shot at uh, the hardest shot at the um all-star competition which really surprised me i didn't think that he can bring that out but he actually can uh, he i think he finished second so that's a good accomplishment by him um then he i think he had a he had a great he just had an overall great passer um he's really improved this season as well last season of course he wasn't great but he was still very very good um, but this season he's gone into that next elite tier again with 47 assists his teammates can finish but you got you just have to admit that he has to have lots of great passes to a achieve that many assists now, even though this video isn't about his defense necessarily um the stigma that he's a terrible defensive defenseman that he makes a lot of mistakes that was true a couple of years ago that, that that was definitely true but this year 
he's not bad at all. I'd say he's even a good guy on the on in his own zone. He's su he's massively improved. Su just improved so much from last season. It's incredible. He makes may way less mistakes. He's grown as the season has gone, and he's done a lot better defensive. Um, defensively, he never cops the puck really anymore, which he used to do a lot of times last these last couple of years. He doesn't cop the puck anymore. He makes smart decisions, and he makes smart decisions. The smart, smart decisions in his own end, in, in the oppo opposing end, and that's really a big thing for him that he's improved on. He's actually able to do a lot of stuff in his own end, and that's something that has been mildly improved, and you can see it. Now, of course, with Klingberg, even if he's 25, he still has lots of years, and um, at least 10 more I can see. But if he continues on this pace and he keeps having a great few years now, um, just in the future, he can definitely be one of the greatest defensemen of all time in the Stars system and maybe even the North Stars system. It'll, it's definitely uh, going to be a few interesting years to see how far he gets in the points, um, I guess, stats and um, of all time for the Stars. It's going to be really interesting to see how far he gets. Of course, he didn't start all that too early. I think he started at like 22, 23. So he had a little bit of uh, a lot of ground to make up there, um, but he still has lots of and he'll still have lots of experience, but to miss that time, um, it is going to hurt him in the stats department. He isn't probably he probably isn't going to get the most points out of any Dallas Star defenseman, but he can definitely make a case for himself to get very, very top, maybe even top three. Now, hockeyreference.com, the stat and or at least the site that I use to track the stats, at least for this episode, has something and like it has something along the lines of similar um, scores. So they have a scoring system that they have in this little brackets. Um, at, when you have a player, uh, let's say, of course, John Klingberg, you go all the way down and it'll have the similarity scores. Um, it compared, um, it has, it's, it just brings up scores um, and compares it to other players of the past and of the present. And his two closest guys that he was compared to in these statistical things was Kevin Shattenkirk, a very good defenseman that's been a great defensive for a long, long time, um, similar age to him, even though he's a bit older. Um, and, and Red Kelly, who is a Hall of Famer, 1,300 games played, 823 points, um, of course a Hall of Famer, 8-time Stanley Cup champion, 4 with the Red Wings and 4 with the Maple Leafs, um, he's 8-time All-Star and of course a 1-time Norris winner. To be compared to a guy like Red Kelly is absolutely um, just just astonishing to see how close the scores were and the stats were through his first three years, um, both Norm Kelly or at least Red Kelly and Klingberg. It's really cool to see how similar they kind of been throughout their careers so far, and it's really fun to see a guy Klingberg being compared to a guy who is in the Hall of Fame and has eight Stanley Cup rings. It just gets me excited. So now, if I'm going to make the claim that he's the best offensive defenseman in the NHL right now, I have to compare him to other guys. So Dowdy, I think he's sitting around 40 points right now. He's having a great year for himself. I think he is doing really well for himself. Um, P.K. Subban also, I'm going to compare him to him. He has 15 goals. He's leading the NHL as defenseman goals. He has 15. Um, he's having a great year as well for National Predators. Um, he definitely deserves to be in the Norris voting, if not to win it. Um, you got Brent Burns, of course, who has 50 points right behind him in the points stat department. He's not great defensively so that is a little bit of a deterrent to keep him away from the Norris for him at least, but I still think he'll be a, maybe even a finalist uh, if he keeps continuing this pace um, and maybe maybe he'll keep going. Um, you, got, you got, I mean, there isn't too many guys besides that, so, I mean, Eric Ekman Larson and um, Eric Carlson have kind of taken a step back. Um, Eric Carlson, especially at the knee and the foot, whatever he is going on, it's nagging him. He ha He's having a decent offensive year still, but defensively, he's just completely bombarded. And really, he isn't that great defensively. And as a whole, he really isn't. Uh, I'd say that Klingberg is better right now. Definitely this year. Um, we'll see to see. We'll have to wait and see for the next couple of years. But for right now, I think Klingberg is especially better than Carlson. Again, looking at the stats, it's not really hard to see. At least this year, Klingberg is the better defenseman. And looking at those guys and looking at Klingberg, Klingberg has about, I think it was like 23 um, average minutes per game um, time on ice. And a lot of those other guys get around 25, maybe even 30 with Dowdy. He, I think he leads the league in time on ice, uh, which is a big thing for a lot of voters. And I can see a lot of voters going towards Dowdy because of it. His points are up there. Um, well, he's doing having a great season as well for getting those top line minutes. So I can definitely see voters going for that. Um, I guess P.K. Superman is also in the run. There's lots of other kind of defensemen that aren't really obvious, but might get the final third to final spot. Uh, but I'm gonna see. I'm gonna say it's gonna go in between Dowdy and um, Klingberg for that Norris. I mean, I, it could go bef before that, but maybe Klingberg gets the third spot. But I think it's gonna be those two guys battling it out. 
Comparing Klingberg to Dowdy this season, I can't really say any either one is better than the other. Dowdy is better defensively, um, but still not exponentially better defensively than Klingberg was. Klingberg is still a, is a very good defenseman um, defensively this year, and he has been very very decent. Uh, and offensively, of course, he's leading the league in points. So he uh, the offense is definitely there. He's probably the best offensive defenseman in the NHL right now. Um, I, I I have I have um, basically a, a saying for that. I, I think that I can confirm that he, that he's the best offensive defenseman in the NHL. I don't know if he's the best defenseman overall in the NHL, but offensively, I can I can just confirm that. I'm gonna say it. Yeah, I might be a little bit biased there, but I'm gonna say it. But I cannot fully make the claim that he's the best defenseman in the league right now. I don't think that he is quite. Now I don't know if there. I can't pinpoint anybody else to be a better defenseman from him, but I don't think that he's necessarily the best defenseman overall in the league right now. There probably is a couple other guys that I can't really even name right now just because I'm dumb. Now no matter what you think about Klingberg, if he's not the best offensive defenseman in the league, if he is the best offensive defenseman in the league, you have to admit that he is the best Dallas Stars defenseman and. I'd say at least top 10 defenseman in the NHL, if not top 5. I think that top 10 is pretty easy to say. I think that he definitely gets in there. Top 5 is a little bit less of a story, but I think top, top 10 is definitely, definitely a shoe in That's going to guys. Like and subscribe if you have not ring that bell if you haven't. Tell me down below what your opinions are on Klingberg. You probably haven't watched more than I have, but go ahead. Tell me what you think about him, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.